I want to start. Um, I want to start in a in a in a broad way. Are you tweeting now, or are you actually contributing? <laughs> no, I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at photos of myself. <laughs> A little work done. I need a little freshen up. Now, let me ask you a very basic question. Mm -hmm. Science, mm -hmm. from sky, uh, scientia, in Latin meaning knowledge. I didn't take Latin, but I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Is it better to know or not to know? I think. Well, my blunt answer is it's better to know. All right. But that, I is, that, is, that is debatable, though. Uh, well, I says my answer. Yeah. I mean, somebody else might have a different answer. For instance, Oedipus might have a different answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think... Is, is, is knowledge always a good thing? I have to say yes. Why? Because it empowers you to react and possibly even to do something about it if something about it needs to be done. Okay, but who we are is what we know, right? Would Part you, of who we are is what we know. And our identity mm -hmm. is often based on how we see the world. Yes, our personality for sure. And if we learn something that does not jive with how we think about the world, won't we have to re-examine who we are? Yeah, it could mess you up. Again. Yeah. Once again, I'll go back to Oedipus. <laughs> he plucked his eyes out rather than know anymore. Yeah, the, well, back, you know, people back then, you know, they did stuff like that. Yeah, pe people back then, not people today. <laughs> um, so, so I think there's, you know, there are people who would not know, who, who would rather, I remember the old days, I don't know if it still happens, where a doctor would find out if he had cancer, they wouldn't tell you. They right. wouldn't tell you. Give and, it to me straight, Doc. Yeah, and why would you even have, have to say, give it to me straight, unless there was a day when they didn't give it to you straight? I'd like, if I have five years left, I want to know I have five years left. Because I'm going to, like, do something different in those five years. If I, Neil? Yeah? I have some terrible news. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, but there are some people who don't want, there are, there, are, there are some people who don't value science. And if they don't value science... Are they valuing ignorance? Yes, and, but I will not pass judgment on them. What I will say is, if they are at maximal comfort in their ignorance, fine. Except that they will not be the participants on the frontier of cosmic discovery. They will be disenfranchised. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, I've got a phone call. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, I have to, ta I have to take this. Hello? My mic isn't my mic isn't working. Hello. Now who's in control? So they won't be in control of the of the next one participant. No, no, they, they, won't, they won't. Not only will they not be on that frontier making any discoveries, they're not in a position to enhance their life for having access to those discoveries themselves. Can knowledge ever be a bad thing? I don't think so. What about actions that knowledge takes us to? Do you think that Oppenheimer, when the bomb went off, and he said, I am become death, destroyer of worlds, do you think he perhaps questioned for a moment whether the knowledge they achieved that led to the creation of the bomb perhaps should have been left undiscovered? Do you know what he said in response to those kinds of questions? Yes. He said... Because people said, Do you, have you usurped the power of God? Have you? And he said, if God didn't want this power to be there, he shouldn't have put it in the atom in the first place. Kind of an interesting <laughs> point, I think. Well, but what he's saying is that the world is accessible to us. So would you say, don't smelt the ore and make iron and make a sword out of it because you could cut yourself? Back then, that's what you would, that's the counterpart statement from the Iron Age. And if you were around back then, you'd be sitting in this chair saying, don't make the sword, because you'd unleash evil on the world. Okay, I'll, I'll step back from don't make the sword. How about don't lick the flagpole in February? <laughs> yeah, that, you will learn something. You will learn something, but at a price, Neil. That'd be data. It's a data cost. It, it is. Yeah. There's a data cost for that, isn't right. it? Yeah. Also, Adam and Eve. 
the ache of the tree of knowledge of, knowledge. of good and evil, yeah. and they paid a price. Yeah. So God does put things into atoms he doesn't want us to know about. Yeah. I, however, I think... Yes? I don't want to blame the knowledge. I want to blame... The behavior of people in the presence of the knowledge. So maybe we need better knowledge management. Do you think that scientists go, you can applaud him. He's the, he's the, he's the hero. 